The NFL on EA Sports brings us to the banks of the Ohio River and Paycor Stadium in Cincinnati. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Green Bay Packers and the Cincinnati Bengals. The veteran kicker Mason Crosby set to do the honors here. And we are underway from Cincinnati. Takes it at the seven. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. set you up to go in a number of directions here on second. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Now Burrow. Forced out to his left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. It's Preston Smith. He gets the sack there. But just two plays in, and Charles already their first sack defensively. Yeah, how about that? That didn't take long, did it? And now they look at third down, and that's another time to try and go and get the quarterback, too. So that'll leave Burrow and the Bengals with a third and long after that sack we just saw. Back to throw here. They'll set up the screen here to mix it. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line, well short of the first down marker. It'll be a gain of 12, but it will also lead to fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. They'll try and throw forward with Burrow. Flushed out right. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game. And on the opening drive of the afternoon, the defense forces a turnover on downs. down as Rodgers completes it left side to the tight end Lewis down he goes at the 23 a pickup of four oh it's time to give a little credit there to the defense they played that very well because it was a drag route and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field he was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line but once he made the catch nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter This is Aaron Jones, and able to get about three as he's taken down right at the 20. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. Now, that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. They'll go 
for it. It's Rodgers. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Packers unable to pick up the first, and the Bengals will get the football back. They begin with a run by Mixon. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. Here From the 22, here's second and eight. Once again, they run with Mixon. And he'll be upended here after a pickup of three, getting it out to the 25. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Quay Walker. And that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. We're scoreless after one. The Packers with the football here to begin the second quarter as they are looking at a second and five situation. Stopped at the 11. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third down, here's Jones. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. The drive stays alive, a third down gain of eight. So it's pretty simple, partner. You pick up a turnover, set you up in excellent field position. The last thing you want to do is go three and out in this spot. Yeah, they would have had to settle for a field goal attempt, but now they keep those touchdown hopes alive. Here we go now on first and goal. Jones. Fighting, but he won't get too far. Maybe a yard, that's all, down to the two. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Good work there, holding him out on first down, and this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two, maybe even three more plays? From the two now, second and goal. Now it's Rodgers. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. Robert Tunyon, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Packers post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. On is Mason Crosby for the point after. It's good to make it 7 0 Packers. Now, after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Here we go. 
The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. They've shown very little offensively to this point. Well, neither team has, really. And they come up here now first down. A Burroughs throw here into the hands of Boyd. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Mixon with a first down carry. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a Bengal first down, a pickup of 11. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Now Burrow on first down. He'll buy some time right. This is caught. It's Floyd. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. Over 30 yards there. And first downs on three consecutive plays now. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far. And never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. fake here's Burrow they'll roll him out right and he'll be forced out of bounds shy of the line of scrimmage so that'll be credited as a sack it's a loss of two there bringing up second down so when the defense complains about having to do pursuit drills in the heat of training camp plug in this play excellent pursuit force the quarterback out of the pocket he ends up trying to run for it instead he goes out of bounds and loses yardage that goes down as a sack for the defense. Looking to throw again on second down. Burrow flush to his right. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him 8 yards closer for third down. I did like his decision-making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing the throw. Now they've got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down, and don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. To the right side and complete to Hurst. And the Bengals are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Burrow looking to pass. And it's caught. Only a yard of the completion, it's second and goal. And that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are gonna happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. Here's a run with Mixon. And this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. Through a couple of plays, this Green Bay defense is held strong. Now it's third and goal. Mixon trying to punch it in. And he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Bengals. Joe Mixon, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Bengals are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. Evan McPherson now for the PAT. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So all even at 
at seven now as they kick it away. Amari Rodgers to return it from his end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Rodgers now on first down. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. And he's got Rome. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six for a Bengals TD. An excellent play there, CD, on the pick six. And I, I think they, were they a nickel? Did they have an extra DB out there? Yeah, Brandon, I think they were in standard nickel, not the uh, Buffalo, as teams like to call it, meaning three safeties for big nickel. They just wanted to take away the quarterback's throwing lanes, and that's exactly what they did and came through with a big-time pick six. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And that makes the score 14 to seven. So not much time to work with here. Nine seconds remain in the half as this one is away. Rodgers gonna return it from his end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25 yard line. So the same result, and he opted for the touchback. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And with Rodgers behind center, you wonder if they'll take one shot at this. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Packers set to get the football first, and they are trailing on the scoreboard as we resume action, ready for the third quarter. On the return from his end zone, Rodgers. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at the 20. And he'll begin the drive with a give to Jones. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards. That'll bring up second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Second and seven. Rodgers out of the backfield. This is Aaron Jones. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Got a man. It's Tunyon. And he is going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I know I spent a lot of time talking about how tight ends in a lot of cases now are pumped up wide receivers, but they're still big people. He used that frame right there to absorb a really big hit on him and held on to the ball. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now Jones. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. Offense looked a little bit discouraged after that play, shaking their heads a bit, looking at each other. I think they thought they'd get a lot more out of that call. Sometimes you do get the running lane you want, and other times, the defensive front, they just break up the play before it can get going. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and that'll leave him with a third and just a yard. 
He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, and people have to come up with schemes to limit him. And, and what a lot of teams do, they'll double him, you know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over the top. Sometimes they'll just take a corner, maybe their third corner if he's a bigger guy, and put him on a man-to-man to try and limit his touches. Just keep mixing it up, give him different angles, different looks, like a good boxer does. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. So after two first downs, they get another here. First and ten at the 45. Now Rodgers. Caught on the right side by Jones. And they'll get this just to the 47. One-yard gain. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Play number nine on the drive coming up, and they need nine yards on third down. Rodgers going to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. The appears are going to come up empty on this first drive of the second half, still down by that slim margin. Yeah, and that's okay. You know, when, when you sit and analyze it, they're not happy about what happened having to go to the bench. But this gives them a chance to let their defense do some work while they on the sidelines go over what they're doing offensively and formulate a proper plan. Rodgers going to go on fourth down. He's got Tunyon complete over the middle. And he is going to have a Packers first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. It's a pickup of 19. And the Packers are going to have a first down. Up the middle, Jones. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now Rodgers. That's taken in by the tight end, Josiah Deguara. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 23. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he'll be brought down at what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Here's second and nine. Play action. Now it's Rodgers rolling to his right. That's complete right side to Lazard. And all the way down inside the five to the four. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. To throw, it's Rodgers. And he's got his man. Touchdown, Green Bay. It's Alan Lazard. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Packers are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is as we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The 
Bengals drive about to get going. They no longer have the lead after that last touchdown, all tied up in the fourth quarter, and a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. Packer pressure, and down he goes. They could not contain Kenny Clark as he gets home for the sack. And we all know how talented this guy is who's calling the signals for him. But even the best in the game, they can struggle against a good, cohesive zone coverage. Can't find a gap in the secondary quick enough, and he ends up taking a sack. On second down, here's Mixon. Yeah, nothing doing here as this time the run maybe gets him back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He'll air this one out for Boyd. He's got a man complete. That was no third and two. That was third and 16, but they get the conversion anyway. Running their plays over and over during the week can often get robotic for an offense, but on game day, they can often flow smoothly, as that one just did. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. And brought down that time by Quay Walker. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back. Those are the ones you focus on and want to take away, and they've done that pretty successfully in this game. They'll get it inside the 20. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? He's been a one-man dynamo on this drive so far, and you know the other receivers would love to get involved. But right now, his skill and his play has his team in a great position to put six points on the board. So now, following the big play, they've got a first and goal all the way down at the 10. Out of the shotgun, they run with Mixon. And he'll get about four there as he takes it from the 10 down to the 6. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. Second and 6. They'll stay on the ground, mix it again. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause of the action. A timeout here defensively. This will be the eighth play of the drive, and it's third and inches. Burrow going to keep it on the sneak. Trying to barrel up in there, but I don't think he got it. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. to the two-yard line. P. Ryan unable to bowl his way in. And the Packer defense stands tall down by the goal line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And now their defense came through with the goal line. Stan got them the ball back. See what they can do about putting a drive together. Long way to go. They need to reward that defense. A goal line stand, they've got to make that stand up themselves, right? Give the defense a chance to catch their breath on the sidelines. At least get two first downs. Three would be better. Change field position. Let them catch their breath. At this stage, you've got to hustle. Got to get back to the line of scrimmage because you're saving that timeout to make sure you have a chance to get your kicker out there for the big shot. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. To throw is Rodgers. Well, there's Tunyon, what a catch. And able to get it across the 10 to the 15. Now 
the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout as he'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Pass complete, Tunyon. And that's good for a gain of six. What do you think? Play this safe? Just worry about getting to OT? Yeah, don't make any risky throws. It's going to change the outcome. But if anyone slips, take the big shot. Second and four. Rodgers to throw. Able to find Jones. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. A couple of first downs have him to the 40 now on first and 10. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. Third and long coming up defensively. You pressure the quarterback or drape ball over the passing lane? Yes, that's exactly what you do. It's both because they're not mutually exclusive. They may have been at one time in football, but not anymore. You want to have that pressure. If you have a big-time pass rusher, send him after the quarterback and then make sure you blanket the field. Rodgers again now. The throw complete to the tight end, Tunyon. And he is going to be brought down. And now making matters more dire, this is going to be fourth down. Boy, an incredibly aggressive move to go for it there. Game tied fourth quarter. you got to be surprised. I am, and I know that we're in a new era of football where we look at the analytics sometimes, and a lot of time the analytics tell you to go for it, right? But do the analytics take into account game situation, where we are, all those things? In this situation, I thought it was an incredibly aggressive play. It didn't work out. And again, tie game fourth quarter makes this thing a little bit more interesting. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. And with inside of 10 seconds, eight to be precise, we get whistles and a timeout on the field. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. So all eyes now locked on Evan McPherson. With three seconds to go, this for the win. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And the Bengals are going to get out of here with a W. Well, we all just got a heck of a show, partner. This was a close game for a long time. Close at half, close down the stretch. Home team finds a way to get it done. A narrow victory. Yeah, they finished with a flourish, didn't they? Because there were times where each side looked like they were the better team out there. And the outcome's in doubt for much of this game. Every snap seemingly more important than the previous one great effort from the guys visiting but in the end how about those guys in their home stadium finding a way to win For Charles Davis and all our crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Bengals as we say so long from Cincinnati.